Welcome back to Demon Slayer Anime Review Special Number 5. This time I'm viewing the 192nd chapter of the manga, The Wheel of Fate. And, yeah, in case you're wondering how many chapters in is this particular arc, like, sweet Jesus, this is almost 60 chapters in. Like, wow, it's like, let's see... I think my 96, this would be like 60 chapters in. This arc has been going on for well over a year now. Mm -hmm. Chapter starts off with Tojiro basically dreaming about his late father. Yeah. And this is like this, like it's like a flashback. We see image of his father. Basically also revealing this flashback of how he got his earrings. He's basically, he's known for wearing throughout the entire series. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Basically it's shown here how his father gave him his earrings. Talk to various people, and I don't know just by sheer coincidence, his father, his, he's basically a spin image of his late father, who actually died prior to the main villain killing the rest of his family. So, yeah, here's Mazen in his new look that he's had. He's had this look since like chapter, like almost since like chapter like 186, I think it was. Yep, see him briefly, like lots of flashback stuff, like him staring at him, or looking at flashbacks, and. Like, let me see his face. Someone named Yaruji. So, he takes his sword, which has the, 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 in the hilt, basically, is from the fire pillar. Yeah, basically, he asked, he was asked to put that, he was asked to put that in his sword by the late fire pillar's brother. Because he had a lot of respect for him. Yep, so, takes the sword in hand. Slashes right at him. Still has the little thing on his face. And just... Of course, he has some fire. Of course, there's a water technique. Like, says a ghost. Because he sees, basically, briefly, it looks like his father. Because, apparently, it's implied that Mazen knew Tojiro's father. And just uses his water technique on him. And, of course, he gets blooded. And... Still fighting him. Does, like, like three breathing techniques on him. It was fire dance, dance, sun breathing... Raging Sun, Fire Wheel, basically fire moves. Like, and he says, I will connect the forms since they're just designed. Isn't that right, Yurichi? I will connect them all. I will do all 12 forms. Yeah. So, that's the chapter. It's mostly put a lot of flashback. Yeah, a lot of flashback to Tojiro's childhood. Basically, stuff that happened with him. Just prior to events of the series, I'd say within just a couple years prior to events of the series, like how he got his earrings, spent a lot of time with his father. Probably, I think it's implied his father was one of Tom to fire some, some some fire techniques, and the reason why he's able to do it properly because he's the fire guild, the fire guild is hilt, and there's fighting with Maz in this whole like half the chapter. That's the best way to summarize this chapter. It's like. Not a lot happened this chapter, aside from the fact that it's revealed that his father was the one who gave him his earrings. Aside from that, that was the only interesting thing about this chapter. It's still very, like, not much of answering this one. And talking about forms of, the, of this fire dance that his father was known for doing. It says he can know the 12, 12 forms. Okay. And, like, apparently... Like, Mazen is basically, it's implied he's fighting his best friend again, like, his, his, someone he knows. Yeah, it's not thoroughly, like, I read it, like, not to, I read it, I read it this afternoon, like, okay. It doesn't feel as though this chapter would get a lot of advance forward in this particular arc. At least he stopped dreaming, because he's been, like, part of this arc last, like, I'd say ten chapters, just half the time dreaming or fighting Mazen. That's pretty much what he's done since, like, chapter 180, where he got knocked out. And now he's got this big blob thing on his face. I'm sure they'll eventually be healed, probably by his sister, who is actually is not in this chapter. Just You just have Tojiro, the father in his flashback. I think you see his sister in flashback, too, but that's pretty much it. Yeah, you can say that when you read this chapter, like, not much happened this whole chapter. I mean, you get, you get some action with some continuing the fight. But I feel as though we got... Not much continuation here. Yep. Um, I'm going to get this chapter roughly a... 
8 out of 10. Now it's a step down from like whatever last chapter came out. Well, last chapter came was actually pretty decent. This one, I wouldn't say this chapter like nothing happened this chapter. I would say you got a little bit of progression. I like, let's say with My Hero Academia, where it took like a step. This took a baby step forward with this particular fight. Yeah, just like one tiny baby step. That's pretty much it. Yep, not much else to say about this chapter, okay? So yeah, that's it for this particular review. I know this is kind of short for a review of Demon Slayer, a series I love the anime for, but yeah, not much happened this chapter. That's kind of the strange thing about this arc. It's like they're just dragging. I'm not sure why the, the writer is dragging this arc, this fight up for so long. This fight's been going on now for seven chapters. Yeah, this, cha this fight started with chapter 186, which basically was the 50th chapter of this very arc. And this is the seventh chapter of this fight. I ha if, I'm thinking, though, the writer probably wants to have the conclusions fight. And this is just my personal theory. Either he wants to wrap it up in chapter 195, that's possible, or he wants to have this arc itself end with chapter 200. That's my personal guess, okay? But yeah, not much else to say about this, okay? So, that's it for this video of you. Stay tuned for my review with Trigon, which will be up soon, okay? Tune to the next video. Bye.